Hello, welcome back again for another episode of Roll Initiative. Uh, my name is Dave, I'm the DM for a group of friends that get together, play Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, before we start, I'll do a quick recap. Um, last session you guys um, ended up on this bridge, uh, where this large stone statue stood. Um, after making some attempts to uh, see what this meant, you finally decided Gary sent some panthers across there. Uh, panther uh, basically uh, laid its paw on the statue, which immediately brought this thing to life. It came towards you, attacking as you guys battled. Um, Leah, you caused blindness on this thing, which definitely disabled it. Uh, you continued to fight until you took your flail and hit this bridge, um, causing these mazes that were in each stone that went across to get this golden ember type of light that began to light the whole bridge across. Um, the bridge began to fail, pieces of it breaking off. Where Rufus, Rowan made it safely across, Leah Carey, you, Carey, you began to fall um, using your heart and um, your ability to pull vines towards you. You made it safely to the other side of this bridge. Uh, traveling on for some time, uh, you came across a uh, weird looking panther, leopard type of creature, snakes, uh, attached to its head. Um, quickly killing this creature. Uh, you also came across two bodies, pretty much decomposed. Finding that your necks were slit, um, Kari, you found a necklace, uh, which you related to the fact of guides from Chult. They all seem to wear this same necklace. Uh, the pouches that were on their bodies were ripped from them. And uh, you did find one dagger that seemed to have some blood on it. Uh, moving on from there, you entered into this part of the jungle where all at once you saw these lizard creatures begin to charge towards you. Very small, maybe three foot in stature, running rapidly past you. Um, as one of them stopped and looked and said, Want to live, come with me. As you began to follow him, you watched as one of these uh, almost zombie-like giant reptile creatures came through, um, killing these lizards, picking them off as they attempted to throw their spears to no avail. Uh, you made your way into this cave, uh, the entrance maybe five foot high. As you landed in, you looked, and what you saw in front of you was how it opened up into this large underground city. And without further ado, Let's run the intro. So you guys ended up, like I said, at this uh, entrance of this cave. Uh, this lizard creature uh, standing in front. Kind of looks down at all of you because you all kind of have to be squatted down at this point. 
as he walks forward, and as you guys have to, for a moment, and then it opens, just large, um, as the ground sinks lower, you see a, a community uh, filled with all these same type of creatures. Uh, you see fires that are burning, preparing food, the smell of, uh, smells like cooking chicken um, over these fires. Uh, you see them communicating with each other. Uh, does he need you more? Hungry? I just smell like lizard. Yeah. Come. Yeah. Oh. So he leads you through, and you see as you're walking through, they're all kind of looking up at you real strange, looking at him, and some like walk away and separate uh, from each other. Don't mind them. Go. He keeps walking up to where he comes to his fire, where you can tell by the dress wear uh, the difference between the females and males in this uh Try. Uh, the males, uh, very Indian like, uh, headband feathers of different colors that they wear, um, small short swords on their sides. Uh, the females' feathers more downward as it kind of encases around their head this way. Uh, you don't seem to notice any weapons on them. Um, as he kind of looks at one of them, food! She hesitantly looks at all of you and starts taking these clay-like plates and peeling this meat onto him as she gives all of these on them. As he eats it, you see he kind of looks at it and just sticks his face in and just eats it. Were we served all off the same meat? feast? Yes. Nice. You can give me a perception for him. I would like yeah. to. Or give me insight, actually. Insight. Because what are you trying to know? <coughs> I'm hungry. I to know. just want to know if I get a hinky. If they're like friendly or they're not friendly. Okay. okay. All right. Thirteen. As far as the one that's brought you in there, seems very curious. How about you guys, more of a uh, fascination, uh, kind of feeling of what's going on around you. They seem more standoffish. Hesitant, but you don't feel a threat. Okay. You feel like, if anything, they feel more threatened by your presence being here. I, it's that kind of feeling. All right. Well, so I'm less intimidating by my size. I'm gonna sit down on the ground next to him, cross my legs, and start nibbling. Start eating some yeah. chicken. Yeah. Women lizard. So you eat it. And... <laughs> Good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm. Yes. Benbo. You. Benbo. Benbo. Oh, uh, Kari. He kind of looks over at you. 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 <sighs> okay, you. Rowan. <laughs> Leah. That's a lizard. Oh, this. <laughs> yes. uh, nice. Nice meat. Oh, nice meat. Um, Pretty good meat, actually. You're, you're very good with common. Does everyone here speak common? Not all. Some better. You do very well. Thank you for the food and for saving me. And as you guys, you, you notice this lizard, a little taller in stature. This one hits about four and a half feet tall. Um, a flock of uh, feathers, all different colors. Um, around him, a, a <laughs> necklace, thick chain, uh, emblem. Looks more like a carved in lizard, like they're they're being with the feathers that go across, but more of a profile. Um, you also notice this one seems to be clad in more of an armor than the rest of them. Um, as he kind of walks up, looks at all of you, calls them over, and they talk back and forth. And this other one leans forward. I have put you in the responsibility of Benbo. But I will be watching. Though I disagree with his decision, we are not a violent tribe, unless need be. Walk cautiously. Gladly. Yeah, well, thank you for saving us. We're what? just passing through. Yeah. Yes, my name. Oleku. I am the head of this tribe, which means I always look for 
for their best well-being. Um, where, before we got interrupted by the scary thing, <laughs> we were actually trying to get the curse of all. You see as Dumbo kind of looks up at him, looks back down at him. We know nothing of Curse of all. As you watch, just begin to turn and walk away. No, 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 excuse me. Kaleku. 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 Kari. How can you reside in this forest? without knowing anything of what's around you. You must know where Kersabal is. Again, there are some things you would choose not to know about. Oh. As he kind of turns his back and just walks away, then Bill kind of leans forward. He's fine, he's fine. As he pushes <clears throat> face more in his bowl and eats some more, slurps <clears throat> up as his food goes down. Of course he's not telling the truth. Right. <clears throat> what? What in Crucible? Oh. Can you do this? No. But I can show you. Okay. You can put us back on the path. Can you show us the way? He kind of gets you guys all to get up and he starts walking through this crowd. I need stealth checks from you guys. Hey, before we leave this main area, too, they feel like money a little bit, right? <laughs> you don't know. You try well, I'll just drop a couple of gold, like three gold. You kind of just leave it there. And the, the female one kind of looks over, takes it, <laughs> sniffs it, tries to bite it until it just... 15? 19. 15? No. No, no, that's a lot. What'd you guys get? Natural one. We're doing, I'm sorry, oh. uh, stealth. Just yeah. stealth. But it's okay. a group, so uh, let's see if we, we can make that work. Uh, okay, I'm, uh, 24. Okay, um, you make it through. A couple times you kind of bump into one, they kind of... And what you notice is some of them look a little different. Um, you, you bump into one that looks more like a rat. Uh, more of a longer face comes out, but more whiskers that are sitting there. Uh, a slightly different species of it. It's just, it just kind of looks at you and it moves away. He takes you down this to the farthest end of this uh, cavern, and you see where there's a uh, another pathway that goes downwards. So he's in the front. Oh, let's see. Go follow. He makes his way down this path. I'm gonna trail at the tail end of mm -hmm. our group. He makes it down this path, and it opens up into another smaller. Um, this one though, a dead end. It's just a solid, smaller uh, cave like. When you walk in, you notice immediately drawings all over the wall. They encase it completely around you. Uh, you notice also uh, in the center this fire that burns, but it burns with more of almost a bluish flame every once in a while. Is it enough to see the drawings clearly? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm He leads you. And he goes to the far side of the wall and he taps on it. This way to heart crucible and he points on it and what you see is it looks like it's a sketch of jungle and on the ground there's a small circular like cylinder thing that rises below it you see what looks like they were trying to sketch a tunnel of some sort it goes down and leads across and then on the other side, you see a sketch that looks like a mountain. And in the center of this mountain, they, there's a drawing of this glowing light of some sort that they have there. And he points to that. Heart of Crucible. And he points on the other side. Wait to Crucible. Because you hear a voice interrupt. Benbo, what have you done? As you guys turn, you see more of the rat looking one. On her face, heavy white whiskers, um, wearing a tattered robe. She looks across all you should not be in here. Benbow, 
And he just kind of looks, he says, Friends, help friends. Benbo, he watches, he just kind of puts his head down and looks at you guys and exits out of here. This rat looking figure walks towards you. And your business in my home is what? Nothing in your home on the way to where we're going. And you know, next time you want to talk about not knowing about things, don't have paintings on your okay. walls. So these <laughs> is this are sacred? No, I don't think it is. No, this a is a different oh, genre. Right. Rat face. <laughs> this, Mr. Rat face. Are, the same to me. Mr. Rat face. These Rat are face. my drawings. Mm. They are. This is history I've gathered. Quite lovely. From the beginning. And you, as you start now scanning, you kind of do see a little bit of a story that takes place um, throughout this. And then you see in the middle of it that uh, a sketch that Benbo was showing you, the tunnel that goes under, beats this mountain. And you see, kind of stops there. I haven't drawn the last piece yet. Again, um, he walks over. Why does this interest you so much? We have a friend back home that's hurting. And so we came to see if we can find some relief from him, and we've been told that that relief would be in Percival. Only evil dwells in Percival. We want to put an end to it. We believe this evil is what's hurting our friend, and we would like to put an end to it. So you wish to kill the three? Not if we don't have to, but we know that they know the way. We at least need to separate the three. Give me a little persuasion, all of you a little bit. He kind of chuckles to himself a little bit as he looks at you and says, no. If you wish to kill the three, then perhaps knowing their names would help. Absolutely. And he takes out this scroll, kind of opens it, he goes, Thesis. What? V E S U S. She was the one that um, was not given the ability to speak. Moray. M O R A Y. M O R A Y. Cannot see. An Lee. O N L E E. She cannot hear what goes around. But together they are strong. Um, they reside in the heart of Percival. Yes, in the mountain. Their lair lays at the very top. As he goes over to his fire is burning, you see this pot that's kind of dangling. And he kind of grabs with his glove, takes his pot off, pours a liquid of some sort into a small clay cup. Let's see. Would you care for some? What is it? Tea. I'll take some. Yeah. Well, he pours you guys all a cup. Very hot. It's very good tasting. While we drink this, tell us a little bit about um, why nobody talks about Curse Ball here. Because we do not have the power to defeat it. You see, as he walks up to the picture again, he points to that glowing stone that's drawn inside that mountain. It is believed that this is where the three have their power from. Some say if it's destroyed, it will destroy them. But there's also said a dark shadow creature that guards this stone. Azeroth? You guys seem to have a, a lovely underground village. Are there any tunnels that will get us uh, 
further on our journey there? This tunnel, and he points at the tree, will take you to the heart of Crucible. Can we access it from inside here, or do we have to go back up to the... About a mile south from our camp. You will find it. Well, you see, it's... It's been cursed. It, it used to be used as a way to funnel the slaves out of Crucible. The three found out about that, and... Um, decided to make this a challenge. They like that. It is said that the, it will speak to you, give you a riddle. If you can answer this riddle, you'll gain access to the tunnel. Have any of your people tried? They have tried and failed because you see, they put one little thing with it. You fail three times. The Azim is released upon you. A-Z-E-E-M. What is the Azim? None have truly seen it, at least survived it. Um, a dark creature of some sort. Uh, some say the, the roots of Azim come from bone. He kind of drinks his tea. You are more than welcome to test your fate. Perhaps you'll succeed. There is another way you could head straight into Curse of All. But be aware of the Three's army. The undead of all kinds guarded. Flying creatures from above. So, off chance. You wouldn't have a way into Omer from there, would you? Omer is just in there. I, I they said it was the it was the golden city of Chalk. No one's ever laid eyes on it. Well, you'll be the first. Chalk is interesting. Well, not to be rude, but <clears throat> sleep calls me. Thank you. And he kind of goes to his little. Obviously, you know the way out. Yeah. You're supposed to sleep right there? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Thank you. That tracks. Mm-hmm. Yep. We appreciate your hospitality. Should we go back and talk to our, our friend? The security okay. doc? You get to the end of it, and you see he's kind of waiting there very nervously. Uh, I'll go. It, we, we, we're fine. We, we, we got you out of trouble. But, um, really? They told, they told us. Not. Trouble, I am. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Always? They gave us the way to Curse of All, but we've wondered if anybody in your pack would like to accompany us. You want to go? And just so you guys get an impression of this, this is like the black sheep kind of guy. Well, he's young, young for I mean, just he's a younger one of these lizard clans. Probably teenage, just to feel of his behavior and um, judging some of the others around. Almost wants to prove himself. Right, go. Let's go, Bumpo. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Mikai looks up at you like it's your it's your life, man. My life. We may not make it back. Then we'll make it back. Oh. <coughs> so. You guys want to leave? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. We want to. We have to. But we want to stay here. Hopefully, with his help, we can make it there. And you see, kind of, a little, little kind of sneaks. A little Let's see. I roll against his own people. Okay. You see, kind of, as he sneaks, as you guys are making for, he's grabbing some of the meat. Um, <laughs> kind of walks by very, very quickly and in a very nice thief way, kind of. He moves an extra dagger from one as he walks by and puts in his face. <laughs> nice, my kind of lizard. Kind of <laughs> follows you guys <laughs> out. Um, oh boy. And as you guys walk out, he, for a moment he kind of just stops at the exit of it and kind of looks around for a moment and goes, as you see body parts and dead bodies of his people kind of laying in that area where that yeah. beast had just trampled. Oh, he kind of looks around and goes, 
Come on, sir. Are you sure you want to come with us? It's going to be dangerous. Yes. He kind of starts walking along with you guys. Um, you guys start heading south. Well, we're gonna let him, right? Yeah, yeah. He kind of moves in front of you once in a while. He actually kind of like a lizard will walk him just down once in a while, some floors, tail kind of flapping up his. He knows the area. Safe here. He kind of will lead you guys through. Um, Yeah, it's about a mile, mile and a half out, where you come to where there seems to be a path that opens up and leads. even deeper south. Kind of turns around. As you make your way down, you see it looks like a stone square. Mm-hmm. On top of it sits this cylinder. Uh, maybe about four feet high. Um, you notice it has this glow about it. Okay, right now, you guys are about 10 feet from stepping on this square to just. Uh, I mean, we can just double check with him. Hey, is this, this the entrance to the Curse of Ball Tunnel? Go down. Yeah. And you, Thumbs up. Uh, you kind of see that. Your wise leader told us there was a riddle. Have you ever been around when somebody's attempted it? No. No one ever survived. To, do. to tell the story. And yet someone knows of a riddle. Yeah. It's the mystery is bound, but I'm used to this. So <laughs> onward. Alright. So Legend. Mm-hmm. Yes. Let's go. Uh, let's go investigate it. Uh, do you guys come out of retirement? Hopefully, I'll be. You all step away. on this square? No. Let's let's do it in, in pieces. So. Okay. What are we looking at? I don't know. Reach I just want out. To try to grab, figure out. Bimbo's hand, like lead the way, man. He anxiously kind of pulls you on, and he steps right on it. And you see a thing glows a little more. Should we wait for them or? Uh, I'll, I'll jump on it next. Do you come on it? Yeah. Oh, we're above. Yeah. Oh, but you guys. This guy doesn't look suicidal well. to me. You Let's step on it. it. He's in it with us. The minute you step on it, you you feel this little tremor on it, and then you hear this voice that whispers in your mind. In your mind. Oh, like. And what you hear. Is this? You can all hand it around. Read it to you. Actually, read it out loud. Now it's better to actually hear it. Many have heard me, but nobody has seen me, and I will not speak until spoken to. What am I? And it's like a whisper. Heard but not seen. What am I? That's pretty much the clues, right? Heard but not seen. Mm-hmm. And I will. What was the last part? And I will what? I will not speak back. And I will not speak mm-hmm. back until spoken to. Until spoken to. What am I? Heard echo. Is that your answer? That's my answer. That's a good first one. I like it. You watch. Is this Ooh, cylinder? Sure. Begins to lower as you feel this locking around you. Begin to lower down. Goes down a good twenty feet. <clears throat> Where you can now see this tunnel ahead of you. Bibbles is jumping. Nice. He kind of steps off. Come on, he's, now he's really getting attached to you. By the way, he oh, whoa, whoa. he's kind of grabbing him, pulling you. But no one's made it past this part, right? <laughs> so you don't know what you're doing anymore. So now I'm going to put him behind me. Rufus, yes, <laughs> Bring out the gun. He kind of yeah, stands there for a second and just folds his arms. <laughs> Pat him on the head. No. Get your dagger out. Watch my back. He takes one. He takes the other one. Yeah, it's pretty dark. As you look down, you can't tell. You, even your, your dark vision fades after a while. Where oh. you just Great play. Okay. All right, Rowan, you got brains. I need you to do somewhere in the middle or the back. <coughs> have you dying. There's going to be some more challenges ahead of you. So do you guys step off this cement yeah. thing? Okay. okay. As you all do, you watch as it goes. Now you can see you're sealed in. Yeah. 
So, 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 our, so we answered the riddle correctly. Obviously. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's only mm-hmm. one way through. You answered it correctly. Not right off the bat. That's really good. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, you guys in your um. First thing you notice, uh, the floor is stone. Um, it looks as if at one time this was a a, a, a well you tunnel. They actually put some work into making sure you, it, it, it would hold up. Um, the walls, um, mainly natural stone. Uh, once in a while you can see parts of it that's chipped away where some soil and small vine has gone through. Uh, you want to Start pressing forward. Do we have any light in here? Oh, well, we have a, her fire and then I, I lit a torch on her fire. We're doing that, okay. Um, so you guys start pushing through. Very straight uh, running tunnel. Uh, you spend a good 35 minutes pushing through. Now, every once in a while, you walk by what appears to be uh, humanoid bones that kind of are just sitting there, some busted apart. Uh, while we're walking, occasional we're rat that seems to be coming towards you, just scurries by and then kind of move around. Those are legs to be rats, right? No, the walls are <laughs> just bare. Um, a very uh, isolating <laughs> tunnel. Uh, the more you, time you're spending in it, the more closed in you're feeling. Um, the more you want to pick up no. the pace to try to get through it. I know we're basically going off a map and no one's really gone further than this, supposedly. Yeah. But based on yeah, other maps, how far does it seem this is supposed to be? How long do we should be underneath this tunnel before we get to go up into the curse ball? You're looking at a good eight hours. Oh. Okay. And we've been in for 30, 35 minutes. Mm-hmm. So, is there any way we can speed it up? Like, who has, like, uh, mm-hmm. no, we can, can just move faster. Keep pushing. Mm-hmm. Just keep keep pushing. Uh, so, yeah, you keep Pushing ahead. Who's? I need a marching order. I'll be in the front. You're in the front. And I'll be just behind. Well, the Bembo's mm-hmm. behind you. Yeah. Watching your back. Yeah. In the middle. Just right. he doesn't have to be right behind well, me, but mm-hmm. he he's ain't tiny. In the front. I can reach over him, but I want to be behind them. Just okay. Casting the light. You more in the back. Like I'm behind outside. her. Okay. I'll be in the back of those horse there. And you're kind of just in the way of the Okay. Um, you notice know, so at point points too. In the middle where of everybody. The average. Height of this tunnel hits about ten feet. At times, though, it kind of slopes down a little bit. Mm-hmm. You kind of got the under of uh, this rough pieces of rock to kind of crinkle as you keep pushing through. Okay, not when um, I need a perception check from you. You're in front of the line. Only Rufus. Okay. Uh, Seventeen. Seventeen. Okay. Uh, Rufus is casting the light. Mm-hmm. You can give advantage if you want. Okay, we're cool. Uh, 19. So as you're kind of pacing along, you're walking, and as you begin, your, your toe just begins to touch down as you feel the soil very loose in that area. As you kind of step back, and for some reason the ground got real soft. You're not sure why. I'll put my weird. hand out. This is like in the shrinking areas? Well, a regular temple area now. You're oh, walking I'm along. walking and all of a sudden. As you walk along, your foot feels like the front wants to sink a little bit as you kind of step back. Look around. I'm gonna bring my light down <laughs> to check the sand. Oh, yeah. Check the dirt. Uh, uh, give me an investigation. I mean, compared to what you're taking about, like I'm in a cave. This is solid <laughs> ground. Now it feels like I'm on like yes. yeah. Yeah, it just the ground felt like a soft. It still looks like stone. I'm not to like. Well, 18. Gotta... 18. You kind of get your light down there, yeah. and as you look, you can see where this part of the stone ground of it mm-hmm. is separated slightly. You can find a small gap. As you kind of follow along, you see on the side of the wall, because all the, each side of the wall, you can only get it out so far as you look over there. Now that you're onto it, you can see a 10 foot square on this that has this border that doesn't seem to be uh, connected with the rest of the floor. It's a trap. Lovely. It's, tra- um, it's a trap, or it's the next challenge. Maybe it's another way down further. Maybe we have to go further down. No, I think we need to get over this thing. You think it's trap? I think it's trap. Well, we can use I'm feeling trap. Investigate it. Fly across. I'm gonna investigate yeah. it. Mm-hmm. With an investigation roll? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, 10. 10. Uh, with uh, Curry pointing out, you do see a mechanism. 
now kind of what you've shown you get in there and what you conclude right away is this is some kind of drop floor um that any kind of pressure on it is going to bring like this a trap. whole section yeah. down it's a big trap. hole it's a trap. is there anything nearby to obviously just toss on it mm -hmm. so you take a rock oh uh, yeah big uh, yeah like heavy enough like kind of stand ball. drop heavy it enough to look both yeah. the whole floor in it <laughs> gives out 10 10 foot square and as you look down at the bottom, you see these large spikes, spikes that just layer oh, this okay. floor all the way across. Uh, you now have a 10 foot gap that uh, leads down to spikes. Ooh, that 10 foot hole. This hole drops down about 15 feet, by the way. Okay. We're in Earth. Clear this up away. Mm -hmm. Well, I feel special. The path continues on the other side. Trouble yeah. This tunnel. Well, it's been here all this time. It's been here all this time. 25 feet of rope. We can set I, it up. Can I toss the rope across? Yeah. Oh, nice. You, you want to just... It's like fulfillment. To connect, to, I don't know. Is there anything that will yeah. hook it to the other side? You're going to have to get across the other side to find something to tie it to. Okay. Um, what about... Can um, I... Hold on. Go ahead. Can I do the entangle over the gap and weave it tight enough? There's not a lot of natural growth in here. It's can okay. I jump across it? Can I do some crazy acrobatic movement? Oh. <laughs> you can try to sink into. <laughs> um, Hold on, I think I bought a grappling hook too. I'm yeah. gonna say, want to make a swing because you've yeah. never attempted this before. I'd be swing. totally putting you to suicide if I let you do that. Okay. You gotta understand how long jump works. It's uh, oh. you can jump the number of feet up to your strength score. Oh. And you don't so basically, if I would have had you done that, you would have just went, whoop. Mm. <laughs> so now we understand how long jump works. <laughs> okay. So next time, just yeah, remember that. Okay. Yeah, grappling hook. We can try that. Okay. Because he me, lost his, but I can just try to give me sink a, it into this middle and just get a, a swinging action. Like Indiana going. Jones swing. So what yeah. do you need athletics for it? Um, no, that'd actually be a uh, dex throw because you're throwing. Dex throw? Yeah. Try to, hook, throw, it try to hook it up. Just straight dex. Dex push your modifier. Push your modifier. Uh, ten. Ten. Hmm. It's not a big deal. You throw across, you're trying to hook it to on the ground to make it be able to walk across. No, to somewhere in the ceiling to let okay. it swing. So you basically so can... do this type of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. throw it. It makes it about six feet out. The hooks seem to grab into it. Um, yeah, it seems to be holding. It's said well, Oriana for cross first. Well, I've already flown across. I was going to yeah. volunteer as being probably one of the Who's most the heavy people. I've already flown across, and I'm like, I'm the what is taking you guys so long? <laughs> Shush, you winged thing. You I'm, I'm the smallest <laughs> next yeah, to... Yeah, but we should test it with something that... And all of a sudden, you guys are paying attention to this. You guys are paying attention to all this talk, and you see Pebble just start between you guys, grab onto that rope, and Pebble just... <gasps> and then he swings back towards you again. Oh, shit. And you can see it's holding. And when he comes back, let go at the end. Yeah, he came up and he swings, on, gets his momentum. Come on over Very here. Very agile. Lizard just lands. <gasps> and the rope is kind of pushes it back over towards you. Now we got to make sure we catch it each time. Okay, so now I'm going to take my rope and, and just throw it across. And, and he'll hold one side and we'll hold one side so that if somebody tries to swing and fails, at least they have something to grab on. Okay. Second hold. measure. Yeah. So this I'll little lizard guy it. kind of grabs onto you. It's not, you know, it's not He's strong, holding it. But... Who's next? All right. Yeah. I'll go ahead and do it next. So, you swing across. Um, I want you to roll me 20 sided dice only and tell me what the number is. Okay. No modifier, nothing. It's a mystery. 50 50. Mystery. 50 50. 60 40. 70 40. I'd rather you guys do it for yourself. 80 20. Right? 20. <laughs> 20. <laughs> Why are you over there? You're making me nervous. <laughs> 10. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, right down the middle. Uh, Boom. <laughs> you get up to the other side. Push the rope back. Who's going next? All right, well, now you, you, you take the low rope over for the little lizard gag because you're a little stronger than that. Yeah, so okay. I... She smacks your hands and goes... Uh, oh, well, all right, they both hold it. Okay. And you kind of, he lets you hold it with it, but he's not letting go of this rope. He's okay. focused. He's okay. in it. Okay. Who's swinging next? I, I, I'll go. Yeah. Only a 20. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you notice when you swing across this time, it wiggles just a little bit, some dust falls. Yeah. You make it to the other side. Okay. Next. Well, I don't know if I want to go anymore. <laughs> well, hey, well, now, now. well, hold on. Well, can I can I can I tug it loose and maybe try to resecure it? Because I'm I'm imagining you gotta 
the rope and said, it's getting a little loose. Okay, but now we have the rope tied across. We have three of us on the one side. Well, who's that? You're strong three? and you're strong. Me and just, you. You're you strong. Too. Yeah, yeah, she can fly, so but, but I can do the same thing. Yeah, you so I can yeah, kind of just stand back and make sure you get across. Alright, I'll go next. Alright. Um, and then maybe you can take yeah, You I'm, have I'm, to hold the rope on the ground I'll, I'll, on the I'll other side. Sure. Yes. Yeah. I'll make, make sure that it's taut on that side. 176 pounds. Right. So it's Venbo and me holding on opposite ends. Is that so two of you have done it. Rowan and I are holding on for two. Yeah. yeah, he was not. Well, he didn't want to give I'm it up. 80, but 80. 80. You know what? No, hold on. Just roll me a twenty. No, 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 no. Roll me a <laughs> no, no, <laughs> not with that. Well, you no. just, just do it's, it. It's you got this. You got this. You're doing it. You'll be. Kari, 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 Kari. Ooh, as you make it across, you watch as that the hook gives loose right as your feet are getting to the ground. All right. So you land <clears throat> flat on your back as the oh, grapple oh. kind of falls. You have enough strength that yeah. it's not going to pull you kind of hard. Another grapple hook. All, 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 all of us will hold the rope we have laying across, and then you just take the biggest jump. Hurry, you can do it. I'm Batman. Forget so about that. You fly over. You wind up your rope you made. Yeah, Grappling hook is still safe. Okay, you see. Oh, is it? We kept it? Yeah, I'll take I it. hung on to it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Benbo kind of really enjoys it, by the way. He's like, again. I'll let, him, I'll let, I'll let him hold on to it. Again. He kind of just stands and looks down. Just. Does amazing. it look big on him? <laughs> like, does he like wear it like this, like across him, like yeah. a big ass thing of rope and then a hook? Like, <laughs> He's all like, yeah. He's liking it. Yeah. So, <laughs> you guys continue to move forward. There you again, go, at buddy. this point, you all Come here, utilize some water. Okay, so we're yeah. going to take a short rest. You eat a little bit, because just being down here, it, it is kind of working up the thirst quite a bit. Yeah. Uh, you push That's forward again. This time you move for a good four or five hours. You know you're getting close. Um, just again, the feeling of claustrophobia begins to really start almost. Oh, no. In fact, I need wisdom saving throws from everybody. Wisdom, huh? Uh, up at the top? Yeah. 16. 15. Oh, 15. Boy. 15. 17. 15. Good. You all start feeling a little really closed in, almost starting to get irritated with each other a little bit. Um, oh, wait. Oh. You all seem to be able to brush it off, but you see it almost starts to get really, like, hyper. Like, almost the feeling of bouncing out of the walls. as like he'll run a little bit ahead of you and jump off the wall and come back. It's very excitable. Um, feel very closed in as he kind of looks at us. Somebody has to detect magic to see if there's something that's messing with Okay, I'll fly ahead with him and just, you know, like, in the fly back and fly out. Like, you know, kind of playing around. So, you guys watch as (laughs) Pinball State, you're you're keeping about 10 feet away from her, so, I mean, you're not letting him get way ahead. Um. I'm still right up there next to Rufus with my light. Calm down. So. kid. You watch. Yeah, I don't know. Like, if it's even oh, worth God. a shot, I'll like start teaching him like some some knots or something like. And, no, Bimbo goes. No, he, you are trying to hold onto his hand. He breaks free as he runs maybe five feet ahead of you now, and he hits his thing. And he's here to uh, click. No, take. So you a guys, step. he goes. Oops. Don't, don't move. Don't move. Bimbo. As you see, this ceiling begins to lower on you guys. Uh, about fifteen feet across. So you guys are kind of in as you watch it kind of run, run, or do we pry it open? Kind of pushing downwards. My instinct is to think and run okay. at the same yes. time. Yep. I like it. Yep. Now his foot's still on it, by the way. You guys lift his foot. Don't. So it seems to be moving slowly. 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 Don't. As he's kind of just standing there. How big is he? About three foot tall. Oh, so he's bigger than mine. It's yeah. still, it's coming okay. down. Quite a bit. I was going to say we're flying and it's through and like shove him away. It's coming down because he's bigger, stepping on yeah. it. Yes, but or that's what, at least when it started. I have a start. feeling what if he lifts his off, foot off? Might just slam fall? down. Yeah. Are you going to yeah. investigate it? Yeah. Give me an investigating roll. Investigation roll. Inspiration. That's right, inspiration. She called it before her dice hit. Inspiration. Add to it? Another eight? An eight. All right. Yeah, so you kind of like carefully take out one of your, your tools, like this little brush thing you have to 
kind of brush around his foot and kind of get down there and look. And you immediately get the feeling this is bad. This is really bad. All right. Because it's a release lever. You, As you look at this, you know it's moving slow. The minute he lifts his foot. So it's a rock or something heavy. How, yeah, exactly. How much is ceiling is moving? Is it how far slowly. in front of him is? Uh, it's 20 feet. So he's right about in the middle. You guys are all in the same vicinity. So he's more right in the middle of us. So there's a good I, 10 feet. You guys get out of the way. Him this way. Um, Take with um, we'll drop the rope on the ground, and take it with you. So, and somebody look for something heavy that we can put on this. Yeah, um, he's on it by himself. He's on it by himself. Right? So I'm, just standing, I'm staying with him because I was investigating so it. And then you guys are gonna keep him and keep clear. Let's go get a rock, a big rock. Okay, uh, give me an investigation. A big enough rock. All of us, or who's ever wants to look? Uh, gotta look. Anybody uh, who wants to save me because I can't carry it anymore. 19, 19, 20, 19, 20. Uh, 17. Well, I can look, but I can't look. Okay. 18. You all like charge out as you see this, and within seconds at the same time, you all come back with a rock that you can work perfectly. <laughs> no. well. I, everyone, you see all of them, he kind of he looks and he goes, Sorry, thanks. <laughs> all right, so then you guys go clear it and then and and leave the rope. Um, so we have a little pile of rocks there. Um, I think and the, and the roof's coming down, right? Very so, slowly. I'm gonna, so I'm we're gonna, still on a tie. I'm gonna tie the rope. Around my waist, and the little lizard's only three feet uh -huh. tall, so he can have a little bit more play. And I'm, uh, I'm like, I'm gonna count down from like three, and we're gonna push all the rocks, and you guys pull me on the rope, and he's gonna boot, run for the. So it's gonna be a simultaneous transfer. Yeah. Yeah. Just definitely like the Indiana Jones one. I'm like, okay. okay. Here's how we're doing. Um, <laughs> so you're holding the rocks, basically, with rope around your waist. Yeah. As soon as he lifts his foot, you're gonna attempt to drop it. Ah. Uh, I'm gonna like grab him and be pulled with him, or he's gonna run. He's That's gonna cool. run by himself, and I'm they're okay. gonna pull me. But I'm gonna like, I don't know. I, I might even tell him, I'm like, this might hurt your foot. But we're gonna we're gonna drop some of these rocks the same time you move your foot. Your toes might get squished. Okay. Do now. In, in and three. You you. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> you understand numbers. Count. One. Five. Oh, shit. Remember that. He kind That's of the signal. Taps on his. Yep. Yeah. That's all we're going to do. Okay. All right, so we're together, you guys, are on the outskirts of this. Yeah. Uh, all right, guys. I need ready. strength Don't checks from all three of you. All right. Well, it I happens need after a dexterity the check so. from you. Actually, saving throw from you. And we're going to measure them against each other. Oh, because it's already happening. It's enacted now. Okay. It's going down. Fuck. 18. 15. 14. So, he lifts his foot as you drop these rocks. You immediately feel pull on your waist. As you see him get on all fours and run. And at one point, you're like, because <gasps> he passes you up. Because you feel the rope just isn't getting pulled as fast as it should be. Um, I need one more deck save now from you. Uh -oh. 19, 23, 28. You, get, you actually lift your two legs up as the well, thing is <laughs> crashes down there. And it's all this rubble falls. You can see um, Bembo standing there <laughs> out of breath. Um, and this part of the tunnel has been completely blocked. It's caved in. We can come back out this way, guys. Everybody got all their fingers and toes. Well, and Bimbo might have lost that exactly. Bimbo. How we don't want to have go. any more, Bimbo. Bimbo goes, you but see, it kind of, for a lizard looking thing, you can see he kind of smiles a little bit. It's like, fun? <laughs> you should call that stick? fun. It's all right. You, you do it again? Right. I'm going to smack you with it. Changes nothing the same way through is the same and only way. So, you guys move forward. Light up again. The last two hours of travel. Pretty good. Bimbo's better on his behavior now, more staying with you, you guys. A little bit of the adrenaline kind of calm down. You watch ahead of you as this tunnel opens up wider. Uh -oh. From your vantage point, you can see something that appears to be glowing. Enough light to um, a very reddish type of light. So we've been under eight hours, huh? Mm hmm. You're there. Uh, Is there what like you... any side rooms, like off to the side? No, this tunnel leads directly into this. 
Um, what you notice about this red light too, just it, it almost beats. Um, you watch his bimbo goes, heart, heart of mouth. I need a perception check from all you guys. Seventeen. Twenty-one. Nine. What'd you say here? Thirteen. Okay. You guys all kind of move a little bit closer. As Bimble's kind of pulling your hand a little bit. And as you look in here, you see it almost look, looks like ice that this, this, this stone is sitting in, inside of it. It goes up into this point where this light beats through this, causing this, this um, light reflection in this, this rhythm. Then you also look and you see this creature, large winged, black, like a shadow, as it perches, sitting above the stone. And that's where we will cut screen, guys. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Ah. Good game. Yeah. I will have extinguished my my life at that moment. Yes. <laughs> Good game. Yeah. Very good. Uh, we will be... Take it when we come. Yep. We shall return. Got it. For Valentine's Day. Yes. Oh, yeah, you guys uh, are super busy know, next week. Be not to the internet world, There's but... Like 14, right? Yes. Yeah. You know, it's all good. There's no secrets here. No. Nope. We will have an episode ready for the week of Valentine's Day. See you then, guys.